आचार्य जी ऋषिकेश इज कंसिडर टू बी द कैपिटल ऑफ योगा वी वुड लाइक टू लिसन फ्रॉम यू वॉट इज योर डेफिनेशन अबाउट योगा इट हैज टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम योर डेफिनेशन ऑफ योर सेल्फ राइट Hmm? If you are convinced that you are the body, then your yoga has to be physical. If you are utterly convinced that you are nothing but the material body, then what else can yoga be for you? Something bodily. But if your primary place is the mind hmm if your primary concerns are not physical but mental then you have to address yourself as the restless mind hmm let's say you have a you have a sore knee or an inflamed back or a frozen shoulder then you have no choice but to go for the physical kind of yoga because your trouble itself is physical so the solution has to be physical right right now i needed water had he offered me ramayan that would have not helped me my problem was my throat not my soul so my throat needed this material water i got it thanks so if my knee needs some help or support then the kind of physical yoga we mainly see in rishikesh is obviously the <clears throat> right thing but let's uh, observe the condition of most people hmm let's look at mankind in general we are talking of the 21st century today are our problems primarily physical any more or are we all victims of a neglected ignored restless mind we have to figure that out for ourselves hmm today we have both great advances advancements in in medical science and great advances in industrial production and the availability of goods and services to be consumed if indeed you have a problem with your body then most of those problems can be taken care of by medical science hmm? obviously not all problems are purely physical a lot of them are psychosomatic so if you want to really address them you require to heal the mind as well but still when it comes to an inflamed knee medical science does have a few answers nevertheless if medical science does not have answers you can try hatha yoga but where does the bulk of mankind's problems lie are we all sufferers of our physicality or is it so that body wise we are almost all right hmm give and take a few the mind is extremely unhealthy if you are to look at the general condition of mankind what is it that you find more unhealthy the body or the mind are we one on this keep the exceptions aside take a general average when you look at the mass of people 
what is it that you find more unhealthy the body or the mind the mind hence what do we need yoga of the body or yoga of the mind yoga of the mind, of the mind. right this much has to be very clearly understood and if you need yoga of the mind then you must know what is it that the mind wants to dissolve into hmm? it's a cliche right yoga means union and then some wise soul would come and say yoga means the union of body mind and soul and all kinds of fancy things are said obviously most of them have no scriptural basis but even literally yoga does mean union and if it is the mind that is sick who is it that the mind wants to unite with that's the yoga that we want that's the proper definition of yoga for today figure out what is it that you want the mind is desirous the mind is restless it won't really help the mind much if you are busy exercising the body hmm? what is it that our desires are crazy for why is it that we never find complete happiness why does no elation ever last where do our intentions and inclinations come from what is the strong force of passion and emotion where do they come from and what do they ultimately want addressing these questions is real yoga it always was real yoga but today it is more needed probably than ever in the history of mankind hmm? look at the extinction of species look at the impending climate catastrophe we are already 8 billion people on the planet and by the turn of the century if we manage to survive till then we would probably be 11 or 12 billion you know of the carbon footprint of the average american and all the people of all the countries of the world exception aside want to be what the average american is today in terms of consumption not in any other sense they want to consume as much as the american does today we need to understand the mind not the brain so much the mind i am talking of huh? the brain does not want anything the brain is a physical organ much like your finger hmm? pre programmed not really desirous of anything except its own security and continuation but what is it that the mind wants if you do not understand that then you cannot stop the tendency of mind to keep consuming blindly the more you consume the more you approach the utter destruction of mankind itself that's a historical situation today so that's the yoga that we need and only such yoga can save man instead if the word yoga comes to be synonymous with physical exercise then it's a travesty it's a joke hmm? it's not for nothing that we consume so much it's not for nothing that we want to have a family it's not for nothing that the population is exploding first of all we are increasing our numbers secondly we are increasing the per capita consumption so both ways we are just trying 
to satiate our appetite for something. We want something and we want to reach it, have it through material consumption. Would have been great if we could have it through material consumption. The tragedy is no amount of material consumption seems enough. We keep on consuming. We keep on consuming the river, the, the, the tree, we keep on consuming the other's body, we keep on consuming knowledge, we keep on consuming the products of science, the gifts of technology and yet none of that brings us to any kind of final peace. And all of that is because the mind is in viyog. The mind is separated from something that it desperately wants. Hmm? So, yog has to be an inquiry into who we are and what is it that we really want. Hmm?